Hello, it's Sasa, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to, uh, well, how I made my, uh, this white kind of like outfit. Uh, Lady Gaga wore it at her, the 2010 Brit Awards, and she wore it like this. She had actually like a big blonde, like kind of wig, and it was like all up, like this kind of lace mask, but I just like take this piece of lace on my face because I'm too lazy to make the mask. But um, yeah, so this is pretty much just like three layers, and it's like a bit poofy, um, there's a bit of netting in the bottom. And then there's like a bodysuit, and then there's an invisible zipper at the back. You can't really see because well, it's invisible, so it kind of blends in. That's so I can put it on, so like tight like this. And this material, I don't think I mentioned in the video, but it's just a plain white broadcloth, and it's normally under two bucks a meter. So like the fabric isn't expensive, so it just takes what, just a little bit of time. So yeah. So if you want to know how to learn uh, how to make this, please keep watching. Okay, to start to start with the skirt part. Um, what I'm gonna do is. See this number three kind of the shape, how it's just like this. What I'm going to do is just blow that um, this general shape bigger, right? And so well, you can't really see, but I've measured like I want make sure that it can fit over my body. So I got um, around like my knees when they're a bit open. Um, it was 42 inches, so I divide this by five. And so I'm just going to, I made this kind of like there and then... I drew down here, there's a triangle, so it's like a triangular piece, and this is two layers. So then I'll have two layers, and I'll just cut more, and then I'll sew all the seams together, and then there'll be a big, nice, kind of like, huge circle with lots of waves in them. Um, I'm starting with the bottom one first, and then we'll sew that, attach that on, and then we'll attach the layers and heading to the top. Okay, so I attached all the layers together. I actually added more than the five, and get a few more panels, but whatever. Um, now I'm just gonna finish off the hem, so just fold that over. And then for this part, because obviously it's too big, I'm gonna gather this, and then after that I'll probably attach it to the uh, main part, main body. Yeah. The thing that I'm doing, I'm actually making a lining for the bottom part, so this is just pretty much the same kind of a shape with the main thing, but obviously less um, less panels, just we need two because it's just for lining. And then I cut this really long strip piece of netting, and what I'm just started to do is gathering this, and then I'm going to attach it to the outside of here. This will help, and then I'll put it underneath the main skirt. This will help make it more poofy at the bottom. Okay, that's it for the lining part. So it will kind of sit like this, and it's all like poofy, and it's nice and even attached. Now I'm going to attach this to the same part of my long part, so then it will make it more poofy. Okay, for the lining, I just made like this um, kind of like a large shirt, you could say. And it's like obviously baggy and... You want to use like the same uh, like non-stretch material because if you stretch it will like once you put all the layers on it will pull it down and they'll be at the wrong length and your dress will probably hit the floor. So like this. And obviously this head you're not gonna be able to fit it on. I'm gonna after I attach all the layers, I'm gonna cut this um, cut this down and insert an invisible zipper at the back so then you can be able to put the dress on. So I just finished off the two layers and I just attached it to the main body part. So so far it just it looks like this, and I'll just wear it heels. And then I'm gonna make the, the top part and attach that, and then I'll cut through the, the layer at the back to make the zipper. And it's pretty simple, I just sewed on the layers, and you can see this is the other layer down. Oh, well, I could've left a pin there. But yeah. Okay, so I finished attaching the main top part. Now I'm just, I'm using this yellowish zipper because I couldn't get, I don't have a white one at home. But I'm just gonna attach an invisible zipper at the back so that you'll be able to put it on. And this is not the best way to put a zipper in, but I'm just gonna like pin it, sew it down, then cut it open, and then serge, and then just do the finish off the finishings. Okay, so I just finished off the zipper, so you can see that it kind of blends in. And so this is it, the three layers, and I was too lazy to do the actual mask, so I just like taped this piece of lace to my face and just messed up my hair, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. And yeah, so, is it the three layers? <laughs> so I hope you learned something, thanks for watching, bye.